Kringle Con. Oh boy, that was a long ride to the North Pole, but I wouldn't have missed it for the world. Thank you, Santa, for the invite. My name is Nancy Gershi, and today I'm going to talk about how you can disclose security vulnerabilities to open source projects like a boss. Open source software is everywhere and leveraged by developers around the world. They use it to build other solutions that power the ecosystem that we live in every single day. It's important that we keep this software safe. We need to work together to make sure that the vulnerabilities that affect them are resolved as quickly as possible. I'm a senior developer's advocate at GitHub Security Lab, and a large portion of that open source code lives in GitHub's repositories. Our internal research of the vulnerability disclosure process says that we could improve open source software security if we enable maintainers, the developers who build and maintain open source projects, and reporters that I may sometimes call security researchers. They are the ones who report security vulnerabilities to maintainers. If we get these two personas to interact and collaborate with each other more efficiently, we can achieve the shared goal of getting good security fixes. In this presentation, I want to share three tips to improve that collaboration. Tip number one, clearly establish the rules of engagement. If you're a maintainer, you'll want to make sure that you have a clear security policy that is easy to find. Potential contributors who want to report vulnerabilities that affect your project should easily figure out how to contact you or a member of your team. They should also know exactly how to report it. For contributors who want to help by reporting a vulnerability, it can be really frustrating not knowing how to reach out to the people in charge. Take the guesswork out of the whole process, or you may have to deal with a bunch of spam emails, or even worse, if you make it too hard, they may just decide by sheer frustration to publicly disclose a vulnerability that you don't have a proper patch for. You don't want to deal with a critical O-Day drop. You know that. Okay, so how do we make that happen? Well, in your repository, you can easily add a security MD file to define your security policy. It really doesn't have to be long or complicated. Here's an example from the systemd project. They provide contact information and a short description of their process. That's it. Reporters will be super happy if you have a policy like that because it makes their life so much easier. As a reporter, you can also be clear about your expectations and disclosure timeline by providing your own disclosure policy. Here's an example from GitHub Security Lab where we detail our policy in less than five paragraphs. Go ahead, copy it and customize it if you need one. Your own disclosure policy can be really helpful to communicate and negotiate with maintainers, especially if they don't have a security policy of their own. However, keep an open mind and show some empathy. Many open source maintainers are often not funded or they work on their passion project in their free time. Think about the possible limitation that could explain why they can't precisely follow your rules of engagement and meet your expectations. Just in case you don't get my sarcasm, do not be Drake in that meme. Tip number two, write an effective report. As I just mentioned, typical maintainers of open source projects are often working on personal time without funding. Being on the receiving end of a vulnerability report when you're overworked, tired, stressed, and generally worried that something bad is going on with your project doesn't sound like a good time. <laughs> they may have to pause their paying full-time job to fix something critical on their open source project to protect the people who are consuming and leveraging their software. Think of your vulnerability reports as contributions that are more than calling their baby ugly. Make your report actionable, easy to triage, verify and fix. Help them identify the vulnerability, but also provide a clear actionable solution when possible. Be clear on the potential impact of the vulnerability so that maintainers can easily understand its criticality. Precisely point out the code that is responsible for the vulnerability and suggest the fix. They may decide to remediate it differently than what you suggested. Still, offer to be helpful. 
You have a unique background as a security professional, and they'll be grateful for your constructive input. A proof of concept, a POC, helps maintainers understand the bug, even reproduce it. Consider that it's not because they built an awesome component that many people use, that it means that they have the same level of proficiency and security as you do as a reporter and a security researcher. Again, empathy and understanding can go a really long way. Want extra brownie points? Inform maintainers that you're willing to help review their fix. Ask them to create a private patch environment so that you can discreetly work together until it's ready to be publicly disclosed. You'll be surprised how many maintainers don't know they can even do that. Ask for it and even show them if they don't know about it. Writing an effective report helps both maintainers and reporters get to agree on how bad is that bug and it helps them decide how high a particular fix should be on the project's long list of competing priorities. Final tip, tip number three. Notify, 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 three times. The disclosure of a vulnerability doesn't end with a vulnerability report. It also doesn't end with the release of a patch. What good is a patch if no one knows it exists or that there was even a problem to begin with? The disclosure process truly ends when everyone who may be affected by it is aware. They need to know. Notify users of the vulnerability. Tell them clearly how bad it really is and why it should matter to them. You can't assume that everyone's running the latest version. Give them a path to update to the patched version. If the maintainer opted to use a private GitHub security advisory while you were collaborating, making it public will become very useful. Since GitHub is a CNA, a CVE numbering authority, when the advisory is published, it becomes available to downstream consumers through the CVE number. For some projects, the now public security advisory will trigger the Pandabot alerts that will do a lot of the legwork of notifying other projects that are leveraging the vulnerable component and letting them know they should at least consider fixing it. And for projects that have enabled Dependabot security updates, Dependabot will generate the pull request that will do the update for them. It makes it really easy for the downstream consumer to upgrade to the latest and greatest. Mind blown. Okay, let's review and wrap up. Whether you're wearing the maintainer's or the reporter's hat, or even maybe both, here's what you can do to create a positive experience for all and help secure open source projects like a boss. If you're a maintainer, have a clear and easy to find security policy to help give direction to reporters. Learn how to use a security advisory and a private patch environment to discreetly collaborate with reporters. Do everything you can to notify consumers about the vulnerability and fix. Finally, do not forget to credit the reporter. If your reporter have a disclosure policy, that will help your collaboration with the maintainers. Show empathy. Put yourself in the maintainer's shoes. Support a maintainer-first approach. Write an effective report with a clear impact and include a proof of concept if at all possible. Finally, focus on the goal. A fix, not calling their baby ugly. That's it for me, y'all. Thank you, Sans. Thank you, Santa. Thank you, everyone at KringleCon. If you want to know more about how you can use your skills to help protect open source projects, follow me and my super smart colleagues on Twitter at GitHub Security Lab. I'd love to stay and chat longer with you all, but it's way too cold out here. And Mrs. Claus promised me a hot cocoa with marshmallows and stuff. Gotta run. Ciao.